all right guys this is gonna be day number two it's about 8 30 uh parked here in a campground in the adirondacks a closed campground i guess you'd say closed for camping anyways right now um a couple of decent tracks right when we drove in here but just i don't know we're gonna walk this trail down in here some lakes back in there and ponds and we're gonna try to find a track so hopefully today we find the track we're looking for and put a good buck down day number two it's november the 21st it's about 34 degrees we got a little bit of fresh snow and it's not too not too loud a little bit of crust underneath but not bad so today's the day we're gonna get it done i just saw a deer we had two fresh tracks so i took them because they're heading the way i wanted to go anyways I just saw one of them was a doe the other deer didn't run out um i don't know if it cut off from it but i was just waiting here to see if it'd come on that doe track because i think it's a young buck but the track's not that good anyways we just hit we just hit a track it's a good track big foot problem is the track's a day old at least a day old it wasn't last night, but it's a big boy, and I'm taking it because it's got a wide foot. And hopefully I can catch up to it, hoof it, and catch up to it and shoot it, because I am excited about this track. So, we're going to take this track, and hopefully it leads me to a nice buck. Yeah, you can see difference in the freshness it's got that dust and the snow that we got last night in it so but we're gonna go start hoofing it on him it's only nine o'clock see if we can't catch up to him There's a doe up on a ridge, probably 120 yards out. That's back right there. That's a doe. I think it's the one I jumped back there a little ways. I'm gonna try to inch a little closer, get a rest, and see what's with her. Hard, hard shot offhand here if there's a buck over there. So we're gonna inch a little closer. That doe's just trotting off up the hill. She kept letting me get closer and closer. I got a good rest to see if I would have been able to make the shot if it was a buck. I definitely could have killed her. I can still see her going. She's just taking her time. No buck with her, all by herself. That's why I was trying to be patient. I should just wanted to run on this track to catch up to this big boy, this old track. But, you know, when you see a doe standing there, you shouldn't just rush by because there's a big buck standing next to her. All right, we're going to continue on this track. But that's second deer we've already seen probably the deer we jumped pretty sure so i guess we could still say the first deer so all right let's get to it let's catch up to this big boy All right, guys, quick update. Uh, not long after we had bumped that deer, well, we were on this big track anyways, uh, he came down into this 
Looks like a bunch of hemlocks. Swamp here. And he made a big loop back up on the ridge. Probably lost about an hour. There was two big tracks coming down in here and I took the one. Ended up being the same deer. He just made a huge loop, so I wasted about an hour. Wasn't sure which one to take. They both looked about the same. Kind of a bummer. I guess you win some, you lose some. But at least now we got another way to go because I was getting frustrated. It was mixed into so many deer. And the track's still old. We ain't freshened it up yet. But we're trying. It's got to be pushing 10 o'clock anyway, so we're going to stay on it though. That bad boy. Hopefully we can find him and get a shot at him. Stay tuned, friends. Oh, this is pretty right here. I feel like there's gonna be a big pond right here. All right, let's get back to it. We're in a feed area and bed area. They've been eating in here a lot. Bumped two deer. The last one looked like a good sized deer, but I didn't see what was on its head. I still haven't bumped the deer I was, I'm on. But their tracks didn't look much fresher, so he might he might not be as far away as we think. We're still moving pretty good on him, but we bumped one deer up on this hill behind us. That was a doe, God, probably 15 yards underneath us. She jumped right up and surprised us. I was like, please don't be the deer. I was hoping it wasn't, so that made me happy. But I think we're getting closer. I think we're making progress. They've been feeding all through here on this bench. Rises right up. Some hemlock and spruce. Get mixed in here with a lot of deer. Don't like that. I guess it's part of the game. I just want to freshen this track up. Get on him. Kill him. Nice day. I'll show you one of the reasons we hunt the Adirondacks. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. And uh I'll tell you what. Shoot a deer. Bet you that lake gets close to the main road. Take a canoe or something in here to get it out. Beautiful. Fresh, clean water. A spot I can cross without getting soaking wet. Adirondacks. Uh, let's go kill that buck. I only had to go about 60 yards down upstream to find a spot where I could get across. We made it. Hurrah. Let's go find that track. We freshened up his track a lot. We got some confirmation. He made a rub. Sweet. Definitely let a bullet fly at this guy if we see him. Definitely. That's exciting. Let's go kill this one. Let's kill him. Yeah. Let's get him. He could be ours by the end of the day. Stay tuned, folks. Going up this hill. He crossed the main road. <clears throat> Which is good because this a couple little broken up pieces over there, but this is all he ain't going off of this piece. So we gotta catch up to him and kill him. He's a shooter buck based off those rubs that he's walking by and the one he made. We're gonna we're gonna get him. Just gotta catch up to him. He was just working this edge for a long ways, running parallel with this road down here. And then he just hooked straight up. And I was like, boy, it's like he's gonna bed. And sure enough, but we didn't jump him. This is uh, us just getting closer. I think this is the second bed we found. So his tracks should start getting fresher and fresher.
the last poop we touched was super hard. Oh, this is much softer. It's not frozen. Disgusting. So. I think you might have touched that tree for a minute. The track looks so much fresher now. So, now we're in the game. Yes sir, we're in the game now. We have freshened them up. The track actually looks like today's. It's about 11.20. We're gonna go shoot this buck, folks. We know it's a buck, it's already made a rub. And uh, I, think it's a, I think it's gonna be one we're shooting, so. Let's go get him. By two o'clock, I have him dead. That's the plan. Two o'clock. It's a lucky two o'clock. Stay tuned, we'll be up there in a minute. Good buck. Nice head around there, buck. Look at that, nice eight pointer. Oh yeah. Thank you, Lord. What a buck. Adirondacks. There's where he rubbed on that tree that I saw earlier. Oh, I got one, baby. Yeah! All right, I'm going to do a little video here. Just a second. All right, guys. This is why I come up to the Adirondacks. First time in this woods. He is a nice eight-pointer. Nice big woods buck. We uh, found his track at about, oh, I'd say close to nine, probably quarter to nine. It is 11.35. So we've been on about two and a half hours, two hours, 45 minutes. His track was a day old. We, uh, we just went on him hard because we knew it was an old track, but finally a track that I thought was worth following. So, uh, we bumped a lot of do different does that he went around that were bedded. He, I think they came in after he was in the area because I think it was maybe he was looking for one hard. And then we did find a couple spots where he had bedded and just kept freshening up the track. And we just found a bed about 200 yards down that way. And once we saw his track leaving that bed, it was pretty smoking. But we were still taking our time, hoping to catch him up in here. Uh, it's nice in here, nice and wide open. And uh, so, anyways, we just stayed on his track, looking up, and we caught him up above us, going the other way. I had a few shots at him. I don't know what was going on there. Not happy about that. But we got one in them, and then we came up and finished him off. He went down. So, nice eight pointer, nice Adirondack buck, three and a half year old buck, I'd say. He's gonna go probably 165, looks like. Get him weighed up. And we got a long 200 yard drag downhill to the main road, pretty stoked about that. So, I mean, it just couldn't went any better. I'd never pass a buck like this in the other round. It's a good, beautiful eight point. Pretty happy. My season, I'd say, is complete. I'll get out there a couple more times, maybe fill a doe tag. Thanks for watching, following along with me on this hunt. Hopefully we'll have many more together. Beautiful, Adirondack Park. This is for you, Remy. This one's for you, bud. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>